Welcome to Business Standards Morning Bulletin. Today we will tell you how the Nokia tax battle may find a diplomatic truce very soon. The 2000 crore rupees Nokia tax issue might be heading for a diplomatic solution with the government readying for an out of court settlement. It is considering the idea of imposing a penalty on Nokia rather than asking it to pay up pending taxes it supposedly owes here. The Finnish government has taken up the matter at a diplomatic level with the Indian embassy in Helsinki indicating the dispute could risk Finnish investments in India. There are about 120 Finnish companies present in India either through their subsidiaries, joint ventures or representative offices. The total investments by Finland in India stands at $1.4 billion currently. The External Affairs Ministry is spearheading the matter with the Finance Ministry through its mission there by working out a mechanism under the Bilateral Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement or BIPA that India has with that country. BIPA with Finland came into force in April 2003. A top external affairs ministry official said that they had asked the finance minister to look into the issue and give Nokia the option to either fight it out in court or pay a penalty for not paying the required taxes. When contacted, Poonam Call, Director of Communications at Nokia India, says the company was not in a position to comment on any development. Earlier, Nokia had said its operations were fully aligned with the domestic and international tax rules, as well as the bilaterally negotiated tax treaty between the governments of India and Finland. Nokia will defend itself vigorously, given that this case is ongoing, the company will not comment further at this stage. Nokia has two manufacturing units in India, one in Sri Perumbudur and the other in Kolkata. In March this year, the handset maker was issued a notice by the Income Tax Department demanding payment of taxes for a period of six years starting from 2006-07. The department had asked Nokia India to pay around 2,000 crore rupees over evasion of tax on its royalty payment to Finland-based parent Nokia OIS for downloading software on the mobile devices manufactured at its Sri Pedumbudur facility since 2006. Royalty payment for downloading software attracts a 10% tax TDS. Nokia had challenged the matter in the Delhi High Court, which handed over the case to the Appeals Division of IT authorities. However, in May, Commissioner of Income Tax Appeals dismissed the challenge. Nokia then said it would take the case back to the High Court. The company was also accused of flouting transfer pricing rules by the IT department, but the penalty estimates have not yet been notified. Nevertheless, the total amount Nokia India could be asked to pay up if both parties do not arrive at a solution could be around 12,000 crore rupees, according to another official who did not wish to be named. That is all in the update for now. Thank you and join us again for the afternoon news bulletins.